Yeah, it means a lot. Uh, just to be able to be back home and, and uh, give these kids something good to do during the summertime and a good way to spend the time and uh, just get better. So it feels good. Yeah, it means a lot. It's, it's a lot of pride, like you said, that's in the city. Uh, you know, relatively speaking, we're a small town uh, compared to your Dallas is and Houston. Uh, so we kind of stick together. And, uh, you know, God bless me to be the first uh, in, in, uh, player to make the NBA. So, uh, you know, it's, it's my ob obligation to give back to these kids and uh, and do it the right way. You know, this is my home. Uh, this is where I was born and raised. You know, I was just in these kids' shoes, uh, you know, running around playing basketball, but I never had anyone uh, on a professional level to come back and give back. So that's kind of the reason why I do it. Uh, my message was to them was just like, if you want to make a pro, make a career out of playing pro, pro basketball, you got to be in the gym every day. You know, you got to make sure you're taking care of your business in the classroom, can't be getting in trouble. And you got to stay focused. Like, majority of the time, like, most kids lose their focus on, the, on their journey. And, you know, if you want to make it, you got to be determined in that aspect. So I just told them, like, you know, if you want to be great, you want to uh, achieve greatness, then that's what you got to do. And, and I told them, like, I ain't going to be the one to tell them, like, they can't go to the NBA, because I was told that. And I still feel like I can get to the NBA. And I know Kenrich was told that too. And he in the NBA, so, you know, I ain't gonna be the one to, to say that. I mean, it was, a, it was a blessing, bro. I was like, damn, bro, you want me to be a part of this? Like, this like legendary stuff right here. Like, free count for the kids. Like, you know, get no better than this. And you want, want me to put my name on it? Like, I can't do nothing but salute, bro. And like, you know, that just tell you what type of guy he is. Like, he want to bring others up along with him. So, I just can't do nothing but salute Kenrich, man. Like, especially, like, coming from where we come from. He's always been, a hard worker, great guy. Uh, so, you know, I, I thought it would be best for us to kind of combine uh, with each other. And, and uh, he's bringing something new to the camp, and it's good for us uh, to be able to come together as a, as a unit and, uh, and do this and be able to give back. Uh, it, feels, it feels good. I mean, that mean it means a lot, bro. Like, because we didn't see this coming up. Like, it wasn't too many D1 athletes that made it playing professional basketball or even with the college, you know, and just for them, like, to see us, we played at a high level. We did this before, like, I know, like, people want to see that, like, kids, they want to see that. I want to see that growing up, but I ain't had that growing up, and now I know what it feel like to, to play that at that level, like, and they can go Google me, and they can see me playing at that level, so I know if they, they can see it, then they can achieve it. Coach Mark's, uh, you know, third time in Waco, so who, who would have thought, you know, uh, that little old Waco that, you know, people will be noticing about uh, Waco, but it's a, good, it's a good feeling. And the journey, it was like, don't get me don't get me wrong, like the journey, it was, you know, it was hard, you know, like, just because the circumstances that I um, had to, like, fight off the court, like, with my parents, like, both of them was incarcerated at one time, and staying with my granny, and I like, wanted to have a bedroom apartment with my little sister, my older brother, uh, my uncle. His kids, like we was all like sheltered up in that one bedroom apartment, man. And I just go back memory lanes, like it was hard, but you know, I just stayed focused and I had the right people around me. And like right here, like where we at right now, it's a brotherhood, man, it's a family, man. I can still come up here to this day and have, and come to the gym, you know? Can't do that nowhere else but here, but I'm just appreciative, man. And I just, you know, that's why I was telling the kids, like you just gotta enjoy the journey. Oh, um, mean, anything is possible. Anything is possible. I think that you have to set your goals so high, uh, and that's just whatever, whatever you want to do in life. No matter if it's basketball, uh, being a doctor, whatever, whatever it is, you got to set your goals high and uh, kind of set unrealistic goals for yourself uh, in a way. But uh, it, it makes you more motivated to go after it. And like Mo said, man, anything is possible uh, for these kids to come out and make it.